All right, guys, welcome back to Sakanana Island. I'm so good you guys, and we are always smiling. Today, I'm cooking in a whole new kitchen, my first time cooking here. It's kind of, it's a tree house. So the kitchen is inside of a tree, which is kind of cool. And um, there's a great view on looking to the river and everything. Yo, it's, if I had like, you know, long flowing here, you'd see my hair just flowing off in the wind. It's pretty windy up here, which is kind of good. Um, you might hear some Jamaican music in the backdrop, you know, just complete Jamaican vibe with a little bit of serenity. So it's going to be a mixture, cooking up here and also cooking, um, you know, down by the river. Because uh, I'm going to be doing a mackerel rundown. So I'm going to be doing that in the kitchen here. And then I'm going to be doing roast breadfruit, which I'll do somewhere down there on the flats. Um, this is going to be exciting for me because it's the first time cooking in this kitchen. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, so basically the first thing you want is your, your mackerel. The reason why you want to start with this first is because it's very salty. Now, I don't think I need a knife for that. Oh, that's kind of good. So yeah, um, what I'm going to do with this is to first wash out the salt and then put some water in there with it and let it soak off some of the excess of salt. Then I will boil up the salt. So while I'm doing the whole breadfruit thing and whatever, getting that ready, this will be soaking for a while. And then we can get to that zin. Some good salted mackerel. Come on, Vanilla. Come on. Alright, so we got the fire started. Um, that's it's in the salt out itself for a while, and then I'll put the bird fruits down. So what I was told by my grandmother growing up, um, whenever you see the breadfruit having all these black stuff on it, like it's already been charred by some fire of some sort, which it's not, it's just a natural effect. This definitely means that it is ready for roasting. In Jamaica we call it roasting breadfruit, you know, it's used to a you know, very strong patter. But yeah, um, I think this is hot enough, so I'm just going to drop these on top, kind of make a kind of opening kind of. So I know it won't roll off. Right away, so that should be good. And then this one here, I'll put that there. And uh, yeah, should be good. excessive saltiness and that will be that will be it when it's done all right so we have a couple of spices in here um, and veg so we have tomato onion escalion green pepper or bell pepper um, scotch bunny pepper which is spicy as you guys should know um, ginger and also garlic I'm gonna have pimento in there but I don't need to wash out the pimento but these stuff that I just peel a while ago, just go wash them off a little bit, you know. Then I'll chop them up. So complete vibe, everything look good. Oh, all right. So basically, what you're doing is um, first removing the skin. Like we don't normally do it, so we normally eat it with the so gradually pull it off and just separate it. And then once you remove all the skin, meaning the black and the silver parts, then all you're doing is just taking out the bones. The reason you take out the bones is because you know it's annoying eating with all them bones in there. So that's basically it. Okay. 
Yeah, we don't. I don't normally put the head in. So once you see the head and whatever, you can put it on. Yeah. But just save as much meat as you can. Wait, uh, like this. Go check on the breakfast. All right, so I've been on it for a while. Flip back a bit and let's check the other one and we should be good. All right, so I just gave it a quick look of roll over a while ago. And now I try to burn them up and you know, get them too roasted too fast. You want to kind of a little bit slow, but well, not really slow, but in you know in the middle. And yeah, that would be it. Yo, I can't wait for this done. Drop it in the comments, which ones do you prefer? Do you prefer the roasted bread food that is kind of turned, meaning it's kind of sweet, or the ones that's fresh? Me personally, I prefer when it's fresh. Don't like it when it's turned. Um, and apart from bread food, I love when it's roasted first and then we fry it off. That for me is just like crazy. It's really good. All right, guys, so I basically have my friend back there basically deboning um, the mackerel and just pulling it apart into like smaller sections. That's basically it. I think the bread food is done, so all I'm gonna do right now is to saute up the saute up the those stuff, the herbs and vegetables and stuff, and then cook down the mackerel in it and then throw the coconut oil, coconut milk and then it should be it. Alright, so we don't really have a light up here, really a really good light overhead, so I'm trying to do this really quick. So coconut oil, butter, and then just saute everything down. Alright, so we're basically sauteing down half of the mixture because I like when the rest of it is kind of fresh. You know, meaning like it's not too soggy or anything like that. Now we'll just go add the mackerel. Add some coconut milk to it and let that simmer down in it. Then, when it's almost done, I will add the remaining seasoning to it. Alright, so the last touch for me is just adding these tomatoes here. I don't want the tomatoes to be soft. What I thought, I'm turning up the fire now. Fire was really low, so. And these cast iron pans really hold heat for long, so. That's basically it. I'm gonna cover it down and get the breadfruit, and then, yep, eating time. So once you get under the skin, it's pretty soft on the bit. you're trying to do like an orange where you don't lose too much of the flesh, right? It's kind of hard. Yeah, so this is breadfruit and that's something called rundown. It's like salted fish and coconut milk and veg. It's good. Alright. That's what we got. Yeah, get a plate or something, man. Work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you. No problem. <laughs> cool. Cool. All right. Guys, I don't know about nobody else, but I love bread food. She loves bread food too. Which is yeah. kind of cool. And again, breadfruit is like a, an organic bread. It just grows on a tree, man. It's ridiculous. Alright, so I got some of that. And then... Oh. Arendo. You play? Mm -hmm. more? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, cool. And then uh, my turn. Alright. What? 
You love the rundown? It's really good. Really good, right? <laughs> so, how it is? Wow. You take some in the bread, bro? Yeah. Boom. Thank you, bro. I love bread food. Try only the bread food. It's particular. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> I say five stars for his very good cooker on trip trip advisor. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Alright, Malta done. Done, done, done. Bread food done, done, done. Alright guys, so that was um, pretty cool actually cooking for somebody who is not from our culture per se and um, they appreciated the food so that's good. So um, anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog here. It might be too long, but these things guys. Love, nature, adaptation and always remember, keep the link.